welcome to a new vlog. I'm this close to vacation. <laughs> it's Thursday, late Thursday, and I just wanted to open this vlog because I'm probably gonna do a weekend one and then my trip to Calgary vlog, which is gonna be exciting. Oh, it's been a week, you guys. I'm trying to get like everything done before I go. Okay, I have seven meetings booked tomorrow, <laughs> but tomorrow is my last day. And then Monday, I fly to Calgary. I have all weekend to prepare and relax. I can't wait. Well, reading updates. I am still reading one last stop and I'm almost done. I'm on page 370. It's a ton of fun and I'm kind of nervous to see how it ends because I'm not, I haven't had any spoilers, which is great, but I'm not sure like if it will be a happy ending or an emotional ending that's kind of happy, that will make more sense if you've read it, but I'm loving it. It's like so cute, it's so funny. It's so gay and I love it. I also got sent yesterday by uh, the publisher, uh, Titan Books Publishing, sent me the new Ronald Malfi novel, Come With Me, which drops July 20th on bookshelves and I'm a huge fan of Melfi. I was freaking over the moon when they reached out to me. Like I did a little dance because I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, send me the book. I will read it immediately. Like I'm so excited. Um, I read literally the first two pages and highlighted everything because his writing is so good. But I decided I actually might save this for tomorrow and the weekend because I kind of want to, um, since it's coming out July 20th, I want my review to be written and up on the site right before that deadline. So that means I need to like read it this weekend and then write the review while I'm in Calgary and get it posted. Or I could bring it to Calgary. You know what? You don't care. <laughs> I'm excited to read this and I will report back on what it's about and how good it is. And I'm super stoked. Thank you, Titan Books. I very much appreciate it. I'm also reading Dragon Keeper. Yes, I'm reading three books right now. Deal with it, my brain. <laughs> My anxiety, everything is crazy. So I'm escaping into three different books. Just roll with it. Uh, 150 pages in, loving every moment. I love this book so much, you guys. I'm actually holding off because I want to, like I've put this to the side because I want to finish this, hopefully tonight, start this and finish this by Saturday. And then this will be my bring to Calgary read. Um, and I'll probably bring the second one as well. Yeah. So yeah, I'm starting a new vlog. Tonight is the third episode of EXU, streaming live on Critical Role's YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm freaking stoked because we may be seeing a, a very amazing character from campaign one, who I love very much, and he might be making an appearance tonight, so fingers crossed um yeah okay i'm coming i'm going i'm going i'm gonna wrap this up uh tomorrow is gonna be insane you probably won't hear from me until friday evening and then it's vacation vacation only if i wanted i don't remember the next words but i'm excited to go on vacation i'm losing it this week is literally breaking my brain I did it, you guys. I made it. I'm on vacation. Starting now. <laughs> uh, that was one of the craziest weeks of my life. But I made it. And now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna read all weekend long and, and not worry about anything because I'm on vacation.
It's Friday evening and I'm on vacation. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say I'm on vacation in this vlog. I just cleaned the apartment and did some chores and some errands so that I can fully embrace the vacation uh, and spend all weekend reading because I want to get this guy done, Come With Me by Ronald Malfi. It's just under 400 pages, but it seems to be pretty fast paced so far. It is about a translator, a guy who translates uh, Japanese novels into English and him and his wife have been married for like six years and she gets caught in a mass shooting at a shopping mall and is killed. He then gets a package from her work you know, they've packed up her desk and delivered her belongings and after he's been grieving for, um, I think it's like a month or so, maybe more, he finally opens the box from work and he finds a receipt for a hotel where she stayed for two nights. And that was when he was out of town in New York seeing his editor and he's like, why did my wife stay in a hotel for two days while I was gone in a different state? So that's as far as I've gotten, <laughs> only like 20 pages in, but it is really good so far. I love Ronald Malfi's writing. I always love it. It's so good. He's so descriptive and he's so good at writing about emotions. His depiction of a mass shooting and how the States handles it and how this husband deals with his wife being killed in one is really powerful stuff. Really relevant to what the states are going through. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower and then I'm going to dive back in. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? You weirdo. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> guys it is saturday evening aka my first day of what vacation uh, we did some grocery shopping today but then i basically just spent the whole day reading i'm over halfway through come with me and it is so fucking good so freaking good you guys please pick this up july 20th because wow I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to spoil anything because obviously this book hasn't come out yet and that is not fair for me to just dump all the spoilers on you. But I will say, if you like I'll Be Gone in the Dark, if you like Bag of Bones by Stephen King, then you will like this book a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough, but not too much. So yeah. Saturday evening, Mish just left to go to a barbecue. Um, obviously, I'm not going because I'm an introverted loser. <laughs> I just don't want to be around people, like, ever. So, I'm going to stay home, and I'm going to watch a bunch of YouTube videos, and read a bunch, and pretty excited about it. To be honest, pretty excited. What is this hairstyle? This, this makes me look like I have a weird bowl cut, doesn't it? It looks like I, like, cut my hair with a bowl on my head. This is not a good look. I'm gonna go fix this and then I'm gonna get back to reading.
Hey guys, I thought I would wrap up my vlog here because I'm actually in Calgary. Yay! Uh, so I'll be starting my Calgary vlog, but I realized I never ended the weekend vlog. So uh, I finished reading Come With Me and it was incredible. Oh my god. Five out of five. Hundred out of a hundred. Just please go read this when this comes out on July 20th because it's phenomenal. Um, I'm also going to be writing a, a, like a full review for it uh, because the publisher sent it. So, you know, you kind of owe them a review. So that'll be up on horrorbound.net probably later this week. Um, then I picked back up Dragon Keeper and I'm just over halfway through and it's amazing. I'm loving it. Elise is definitely my favorite character. Uh, she is a young woman who has spent her basically her whole life studying dragons and she gets the chance to go meet these, you know, poor, decrepit dragons. And she is so excited uh, to finally get to see, you know, what she's been studying. And she's just so full of, like, positivity and life, even though she actually has a really rough go of things. Uh, I won't get into too much because, you know, spoilers. Uh, but she's definitely my favorite. Um, and then Thymera is my second favorite because she is a badass young woman setting out on her own and she's going to take care of those dragons and she's going to punch everyone in the face who pisses her off and I'm excited about it. So yeah. Alright, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's a long day, flying, airport. So I'm going to wrap this up and I will see you guys in the next one.